Hi everyone! I've just listed some Christmas journal starter packs and I'm gonna go over one of them in detail and then just give you kind of like a quick overview of each one. They all include very similar items uh, except for in a couple of cases the book has been gutted and I'm including just the cover whereas in uh, some other ones the book is still intact. So I think my favorite one is this kit. I'll show you what's inside. Um, this one has five little peppers and how they grew and it's intact and there are some really pretty Christmas images in there. And what I will do is I'm going to include uh, three binder rings in this in case you wanted to just use the front and back of the cover and not use the spine. Each kit is going to have some small die cut embellishments and postage stamps and I try to include a couple of Christmas ones in each of the kits. So these are the stamps in this one. These are the little uh, embellishments in this kit. So they're not the same in the other ones, but just similar types of things. Here I have a very old greeting card. This is the kind that um, is made this way where they fold them. So it's a used card. and then there's a postcard. This one's like a reproduction postcard from an older version. This is an actual vintage card. I like the back. I mean the front is okay. Very pretty image, but I love the uh, writing on here and the design of the uh, logo. And then this one here is just gorgeous. It's got some writing but no stamp. And then this first day cover has people uh, snowshoeing in the winter there. This is from the 70s. I've included a red handkerchief in here. It's got a gorgeous crocheted trim. In the bag there are just an assortment of things. So in here we've got some pre-made little journaling cards. And then merchandise tags, a couple of playing cards. These are the offcuts from the pattern paper that I've included. There's one of these. Some guest checks. Notepad papers. This is a newer greeting card and it's just blank so you could use this however you like. This is an older version and it's not used. And this is the front of a greeting card. So this would make a nice collage. Got some doilies in here, some of these bigger six inch ones and one holiday doily. And then some of the smaller three inch, three, four inch. And then uh, some papers. So this is a heavier double-sided cardstock and I thought you know in case you wanted to make like a separate journal you could use this as the cover for a single signature um, journal. This is October afternoon I believe. And then just uh, extra pattern paper and colored cardstock so you can do whatever you like with this. This would be like a nice little starter base for a separate journal. 
and then some double-sided 6x6 six six, and a double-sided 8x8 eight eight, uh, October afternoon. This is an old uh, printout from one of my um, digital kits, so I thought I would include that, that in there. These are one inch circles, so if you have a circle punch, you can punch these out. And they have the full um, the full month on here. And a newsprint bag. This one is um, larger. It's like 8.5 by 11. This one here is more in the blue colors. This is the little book. And again, I will include the binder rings in case you want to just do a, uh, a ring-bound journal. Um, this is not as old as the other books that I have. Let me see what the date is. Well, it's the 1950s. But it's got a really gorgeous cover. Really like that. And then throughout, um, there are little images as well. So if you were to use these pages to make embellishments like um, pockets, envelopes, little tuck spots, collage on your tags and such. So that would be nice for that. And then this is the small linen piece included in there. Very similar items in the bag as what I just showed you. doilies, um, some extra little uh, October afternoon embellishments. This is like a background sheet. You could cut this up and make tags. This can be cut up and used to embellish your pages. This is the double-sided cardstock that you could turn into a Christmas uh, cover for a journal, and then these are the papers inside the bag. Again, some embellishments and um, a few Christmas stamps in there. This is a vintage greeting card. A couple of postcards. On the first day cover. This one has a little red, very old book, but it's in very good shape. It's called Helen's Babies. Um, look at that. How sweet. And this has um, no date. I don't see a date. But look at that. You can do so much with these books. Lots of interesting pages in there. Another bag of goodies and doilies. The papers are in the reds and teal and green colors. This is the vintage greeting card. old postcard. First day cover. And this is the handkerchief. This one I'll just show you quickly the book. How sweet is that? This is from the 70s. Um, this is the vintage greeting card, and then postcards. The first day cover. And this is a very sheer uh, hanky. I'm thinking it might have been used as a tablecloth. It's got a little bit of staining on the edges, but it's been cleaned. Um, but it would make nice um, pieces for pockets in your journal, perhaps. 
and you could tea stain this and it would make it all like an even kind of tea stained color if you wanted. Now the next few, uh, the book has been gutted, so these just have the cover. And I really like this cover, and I've always wanted to make a journal myself. It's called Under the Hollies, so I thought that's pretty appropriate. Uh, but it's been gutted already. And then it's got similar things. The colors are more in the green and red. And then there's stamps and little embellishments. This is the greeting card. Really pretty colors on that. A couple of old postcards with very nice winter scenes on there. These are the backs. These are early 1900s. 1912. This one I can't tell, but probably 1916, I think. Something like that. This one first day cover and just an embroidered tree on this one. This one is a um, gardening book cover but it's such a pretty green I thought that would make a nice Christmas cover anyway. And then similar things in there and it's mostly the reds and greens as well in this one. This is the old greeting card. postcard 1916 and this is the front and then these little guys <laughs> another winter scene these are skiers and a gold thread uh, embroidered sheer hanky the last one I want to show you is a little different from the other ones because it has a pre-made little journal in it. I just never got around to using this, uh, but it would make a great journal for someone who, um, if you don't have time to make one and you want to go ahead and, you know, have a souvenir book for your Christmas. So there's some pocket pages in here just some regular pages. They're all different tag pages. So it's already made for you. So this would make a nice gift for someone if you wanted to embellish it. Or this could be your uh, December souvenir book. And then I've got the stamps and embellishments in here. There are a couple of old postcards in here. This one is very brittle, but very nice. I love the writing. And this is an old um, first day cover. I like the snowflake on the stamp there. And then there are similar embellishments in here, but what's different in this one is I included a package of these um, dates. So if you wanted to add the dates in your book for uh, for the month of December, and it includes um, up to the 25th. So And then there are just extra little um, things in here for making more embellishments and the bag as well. So that's a total of seven kits and they're all in my Etsy shop now. If you have any questions let me know and I'll be back as soon as I can. Thanks for watching. Bye!